Let's bring in Tom Koslick, the head of municipal strategy and credit at Hilltop Securities. Tom, good to see you. I, you know, talk about a wall of worry. There are so many headwinds facing municipalities right now, just as they're having to issue that much more paper, right? You know, right now, I think that what we've been seeing is we've been seeing investor confidence build. You may uh, build over the last couple of weeks. We've seen uh, 19 billion flow into uh, muni funds over the last 13 weeks. And really, there's if there, if there's a supply and demand uh, imbalance, it's it's not a lack of demand. It's really a lack of supply right now. Uh, issuance overall through the first seven months of the year is about 50 billion uh, higher than we saw last year. But that's a little misleading because there's been a lot of refundings that haven't been able to replace uh, new issue, and, and there hasn't really been as much new issuance as we would have liked to have seen. But will the risk go up when you consider the shortfall that the municipalities generally have experienced because people aren't using transportation right now? They're not working for the most part. And then there are other areas that I'm going to bring up in a little while. I mean, you know, th this is a pretty tight uh, time for them right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. And one of the things that w that's interesting that we haven't seen uh, much in the last couple of months of is rating downgrades. Now, uh, it depends sector to sector. You know, for example, S&P uh, put the uh, municipal airport sector on credit watch negative uh, last week. Uh, and, and one of the things that I'm expecting where state and local governments are concerned, and frankly, we're all the public finance, I'm expecting that overall for this year, uh, at the end of the year, we will see that downgrades will outpace upgrades. But one of the things that we saw coming out of the Great Recession last year was that that was really slow to develop. It really wasn't until 2012 that downgrades really peaked. And it, it, it might not take that long this time, just because I think that there was a significant amount of pressure in the real estate market 10 years ago. Um, but there is going to be some pressure that could end up happening over the next year or two where downgrades are concerned, for sure. And a story that has developed this week alone with the Big Ten saying they're not going to play sports this fall. College sports have a big impact on the budgets of municipalities around the country. And if they don't have that revenue coming in, that's another problem for them, right? And it's not even just the revenue with regard to uh, the higher education institution itself. It's really the, you know, when you think about, you know, the Big Ten games in places like Iowa City, Iowa, or in Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, you know, there are five or six times where they have home games. And it's like, you know, five or six Christmases to the local economy there. Uh, and, and not even just the local economy, oftentimes the regional economy. And so it's not even just a potential pressure for, higher education institutions, it's pressure to the uh, regional economies as well. So are we saying that municipal bonds are riskier now than they have been, or they're going to become risky uh, if, if downgrades come next year or not? What are you telling muni investors right now? So one of the things is that credit really matters. It really matters if there are situations where there are state and local governments who had uh, you know, good reserve funds built up already. It's going to be easier for them to be able to go uh, to, to, to go through this uncertainty. Right. Uh, if there is a situation where they didn't have reserve funds, uh, then they're, go they're, they're going to have to end up cutting probably a little more than others might otherwise would have. And we've already seen that, actually. Uh, we've already seen over a million uh, job cuts in the right. state and local government sector. Uh, in fact, through just April, uh, state and local governments cut more employees than they did in the entire week of the, in the Great Recession. Very good. Tom Koslick with Hilltop Securities.